Welcome in to Aero TV's daily update from EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2008. On Saturday, August 2nd, with the event winding down, we decided to take our cameras around Whitman Regional Airport and talk to some of the attendees at this year's event. Of all the hundreds or thousands of things there were to see here, what have you enjoyed the most this year? Personally, I really enjoy the older aircraft, uh, things that you can't find anywhere anymore. I mean, things that you can't find anywhere in the world, you can come to Oshkosh and see, which is, which is really neat. You know, I've always, always enjoyed coming here and, and seeing that. I should probably the, probably the Raptor, yeah. It's a toss up between the Raptor demo and uh, U-2 arrival. That's, that's always, you know, earth shaking <laughs> one way or another. But uh, yeah, both of them are, are neck and neck. Probably the thing that the plane over there that gives um, other planes gas or fuel. Uh, I've got to look at that Raptor over there and say, hey, that's fantastic. Because uh, it represents a hell of a lot of progress that's taken place in aviation in my lifetime when, after all, I was born in 1940, so I've started with the war, of course, and uh, seen the development of aircraft right through. I think the neatest thing out here is the Osprey and the, uh, the YF-22, um, all the newer high-tech stuff, so having a good time. Uh, there are so many things. There's like the, the Dreamlifter was here earlier in the week, and the Rocket Racer is just the noisiest thing. It's awesome. It's going vertical last night. And the uh, Raptors, the F-22, and we got an Osprey, uh, vertical, helicopter-ish, airplane-ish thing. And, uh, yeah, even, even I was talking to the Civil Air Patrol, and they towed their airplane from, or their glider, from Indianapolis four hours on a tow. You know, and this kid is like 16 or something, you know. And that, that, was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, so my head's on a swivel. Everything I, I turn around, there's something neat. You know, you, you can't beat it here. Charlie's favorite is NASA. He always comes for NASA, thus he wears the t-shirt. The, the coolest thing is the amphibious ultralight that's shaped like an egg. And I, do, I, I don't even know the name of it, but it is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Probably the neatest thing I've seen is the, uh, is the new uh, the Army rotor wing uh, airplane that flies like an airplane and takes off like a helicopter. That's probably the, the most impressive thing I've seen so far. I like the um, the one that um, that you can use as a hel that can turn can, that can, you can use as a helicopter and you can turn it into a plane too. Um, I think my favorite was the wall of fire and the bombers. So we come to uh, EA pretty much every year, and um, again for the aviation news and all the uh, innovative things that um, they have here on display. This year, the, the, uh, the most interesting thing that I wanted to see was the uh, jet pack. Charlie, what's the coolest thing you've seen so far? That big noise. That big noise of the F-18s going by. I'd have to say it was an F-18 Hornet taking off. It was pretty incredible. I think for me, uh, Air Adventure, I'd, I'd always wanted to fly for the last 20 years, and I kind of kind of did it uh, vicariously by flying model airplanes. So I came five years ago and the thing about Air Adventure that is, I think sold me on going ahead and getting my pilot's license is that all the people here are, are many of them are pilots and they're all sort of have the same bent about flying and uh, that's what got me interested in finally getting a pilot's license and going on and purchasing my own airplane a couple of months ago. You can see more here in one day than you can see anywhere else in the world. And you can see anything from cutting edge military to the, to the little kites with a motor on the back. And it's a fun place, a good place for families. From all air shows that I've seen in my uh, life, I think this is the biggest and uh, the most diverse and interesting. Uh, this, for the week, uh, this is the most busiest uh, airport. Well, it's just a broad breadth of uh, air, fresh air for the, for the public, and it, we look around, it's, it's Americana, it's America. It's what we're experiencing here, it's a little bit of America. 
This is the only event like this. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen so many airplanes in one place at one time. And the people are terrific. Everyone has been so nice. I definitely will come back next year. Well, <clears throat> the reason you should come to this air show, and, and I'll be honest with you, whatever your interest in aviation, it's here. Uh, it's, it's ultralights, it's warbirds, it's military iron, it's beautiful civilian airplanes, uh, the restored 20s and 30s stuff, it's all here. Anything you want to see that regards aviation is here. And it's the best place on earth this week. Come check it out. There's lots of sweet airplanes here. You will never go to any place anywhere in the world, including the Paris Air Show, that's as good as this. Uh, and it's right here. It's in the United States. It's, it's the free market. You, there's everything here. I've never been to any place, and I'm, I'm an aviator. I'm a mechanic, a pilot, uh, a parachute rigger. I've been 3,300 parachute jumps, so I've been around a little bit. This is the best. Absolutely. Anyone with the slightest interest in aviation, get your backsides over here and have a ball.